Hey everybody, it is Taco Tuesday and it is, what day is it? July 6th. Tonight we are talking about uh, working your business in the summer and a whole bunch of reasons why that is important. But before we start on that, I just want to give you two reminders. Uh, we will have book club and work at Wednesday tomorrow night. Um, as I said, if the storm blows in and I don't have power, then we will still have it. Um, Hannah and Carol or someone will pick up the slack. So also, um, because it is SFR month and we have two reunion or two retreats this month, we have our retreat in Orlando the week of SFR, and then we have our leadership retreat in Phoenix the week after SFR. We are only doing Leaders Lounge, Work It Wednesday, Book Club, and Taco Tuesday this week and next week. The last two weeks of the month, I will either be traveling to a retreat, at a retreat, leaving a retreat, heading to another retreat, whatever. So um, it's this week and next week, second half of the month, nothing. And then we'll pick back up in August. All right, so tonight we're gonna talk about how to grow your business through the summer and why it's important. Um, you know, I wanna start by saying now that, and I think most of you know this, but the things you do now in your business, you don't really see the impact from now. Now, some things you do obviously, right? But for the most part, the work you put in now pays off 70 to 90 days from now. Um, and what that means is what you're doing now for your business, you will see the results of and the residual effect from come fall. So if you, I'm not saying you shouldn't enjoy your summer, by all means, everyone should enjoy your summer. If you're taking a vacation, enjoy your vacation. The problem comes when people say, I'm going to pause my business for the whole summer. And it's a pretty common thing that people say. Um, they say, nobody wants to buy in the summer. Well, we have proven last summer and the summer that is not the case by any means. Um, and if you put your business on hold for the summer, or if you slow down your business, um, put it on vacation, so to speak, it will negatively impact not just your sales this summer, but your entire rest of 2021. Um, and it really will take you a long time to pick that momentum back up. You know, when you think about, and, and this is an analogy that Orville uses, any of you who are older, um, on the playgrounds, we used to have that thing that you held on to the outside of and ran around in a circle. It was like a, I don't know what you call it. It's like a merry-go-round, but kind of, you ran around over and over and over, and then you jumped on. And when you jumped on, the thing kept going. And it kept going because of the momentum that you built. Well, if you stopped running, the thing stopped, right? Or if you dragged your feet, the thing stopped. You couldn't jump on and keep going. You had to build the momentum to keep it going. And that's what happens to your business in the fall if you've worked your business through the summer. If you've dragged your feet through the, through the summer or if you've fully stopped your business in the summer, then um, it's really hard to get that merry-go-round or whatever you call that thing going again. So uh, there are some things that we can do to make that easier, and we're going to talk about that. There are some other things to do in the summer that will help you prepare for fall, okay? Because this, there is kind of a period here where you can change some intentions, change some directions, and it will impact your fall in a positive way. Now, as I said, that doesn't mean you can't take any trips. You can't enjoy your summer. You just need to be strategic and consistent. You need to think ahead and you need to be prepared. I absolutely don't want anyone, anyone to say, you told me I couldn't take a vacation in the summer. You told me I couldn't take a break from my business. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you need to prepare and plan for when you do. So uh, let's start with it's summer. Obviously schedules are different for many of us. Um, it stays later, long, it stays lighter longer. Um, we're outside more. Uh, if you work full time, you, you might be out in the, you know, it's not like winter when at 4.30 or five it's dark and you're in the house, right? You're taking advantage of those extra hours of sun. So our schedules are always different in the summer, regardless of whether you work full-time, whether you have kids, whether um, you vacation more, whatever, it's all different. So you're going to have to get creative in how you work. So you're going to have to acknowledge the fact that you're, you know, you're on a different work schedule. You might need to get up a little earlier, if you have small kids especially, or you might need to stay up a little later or set a different schedule than what you're used to. It's okay. Um, there's no, nothing wrong with that, but make a commitment to do it and hold consistently to it. So figure out how you can work your business this summer. And it's okay if it looks different, but just acknowledge it and make a plan for it, okay? You may have to work your business in different places, right? So you might take a vacation. Well, I'm not telling you to work your business the whole time you're on vacation by any means. But if you were in the car on a 24 hour road trip, 
Um, you can, as long as you're not driving, if you're driving, do not do this. But if you're, not, if you're, you know, if you're not driving, you can certainly spend 30 minutes an hour over 24 hours in the car. At that point, you will be tired and sick of everyone. Like, let's just be honest, right? If you're on a long, long road trip cross country with people, you reach kind of that breaking point. So you, it's okay to check out for a little bit and to um, check your emails, check your messages, post something on your Facebook group, whatever the case may be, check the news tab. Um, take a little bit of time when you can and do that, but make sure again that you're focusing if you're on vacation, the bulk of your focus is on vacation. Summer's a good time also to involve your family. And we've done a couple Zooms on this. We talked about how to incorporate your family in your business. We talked about how to work your business with your spouse, all the things. So um, how can you involve them? That's something you have to think through. But I want you to really focus on, um, you know, with your spouse and if you have kids, what is in it for them? Because a lot of times, um, and I'm going to use an example. Hannah Hall told me, I, I was on a Zoom with her the other day and she said, um, probably shouldn't say this, but she said, her kids said, one of her kids said, you're, you know, all you ever do is work. You're boring, basically, you know, and that actually isn't the case. She is a guest mom. She is always taking her kids somewhere. They're always having movies out back with s'mores and whatever, but it's a perception in the mind of the kid, right? So it doesn't matter if you're giving them 10 hours a day of doing yes, mom, fun things. They're going to remember the three hours that you were working, right? Especially when, they, when they're angry or frustrated or upset about something. So involve your family, make sure they know what's in it for them. So um, are they understanding how your business helps your family? Now, for some of you, that might mean that um, you're able to take a vacation that you couldn't otherwise. And I'm not saying you should say, this ice cream mommy paid for with mommy's work money or whatever, I'm not saying that, but they need to understand the value that you aren't just choosing to work your business for no reason to spend time not with them. Um, and one of the things that we've done over the years to, to make sure that our family understood um, is we've had a family meeting about it. We've talked about it and we've sat down and said, okay, um, this is our plan for the summer. This is how we're going to work our business this summer. And this is what we're going to do if we all contribute in this way. And so maybe it's that, um, they want to plan some more fun that you take them once a week, once a month. Maybe you're taking a weekend away or, you know, whatever the case may be, but make sure that there's something in it for them and that they have some say in how your business is benefiting them, especially if you want them to help you, right? I know I wanted Lauren, my, um, my 20 year old, she was home. She's not anymore, but she was, you know, she'd been home for way longer than she wanted to um, due to COVID. She was home from March 2020 until early June of this year because they were virtual in San Diego. So she was home and um, I wanted to make bring back my bar testers. And that's her least favorite thing to do other than bookkeeping for me. That's bookkeeping's about the bottom of the list, but bring back my bar testers is pretty low. And, um, and I said, you don't understand how beneficial those are in my business. You don't understand the value of those to our group. And she said, you're right. She said, I don't know the benefit of them. I just know that it takes me a million hours and it's a royal pain and, and I don't see any of the fruition of it. So I sat down and I kind of explained to her the benefit in our business from them. And then, and also she wanted to go back early and it was gonna cost me a lot of money for her to go back for the summer to work a job that really financially doesn't make any sense but she really did need a little freedom after being here for that long. So she was more willing to help when, when that was put into perspective too. But I, I had to sit down and I just assumed that she understood that they were really a great business tool. But she was like, mom, how would I know that? How would I know that your team loves them? How would I know that, you know, we, we get this amount of sales? And so every time I, so we set out a certain number of sets of them. And every time I had a customer order come in from those, an online order, I said, Lauren, I just got a $452 order from Bring Back My Bar. I just had a customer set up a $300 Sensi Club subscription from those testers. You know, and so I was able to show her point blank the value in our business. So I'm not suggesting if you have little kids that that's the route you go. But if, if you're going to ask them to either be patient with you while you work or to contribute, there's got to be some payout for them. All right. Um, work hard, play hard. Um, there have been some years in the summer where we've worked full time during the day or full time in the evening. Steve worked full time. I worked. There were times where I worked full time um, outside of Sensi and 
Um, and we had to work in the evenings or the mornings or the weekends or whatever the case may be. But there have been times where in the summer we've said, okay, we're going to work until noon. And then, so we'll work in the morning and then we'll have pool time, beach time in the afternoon or whatever the case may be. Um, so whatever you're doing, um, set, set the standard and set the expectation. Um, we've done different things over the years based on where we were in our business and the season of our life. Do what works for you, but be present where you are when you're when you're there. So if you're working, that's your focus. But when you're present with your family, that really means you're present with your family. Uh, actions speak louder than words, and I can't stress it enough. Keep your word. If you say you are going to work half a day, and then you're going to the beach, or you're going to the beach for the weekend, or you are, I don't know, going to spend the afternoon in the pool or whatever, then you have to really do that. It, when you sneak back in the house and you get on that computer, or when you pull out your phone and you are texting customers or texting team members or whatever the case may be, your kids are watching that. Your spouse is watching that. And there is nothing more that will turn, um, turn love of Sensi into resentment of your business than you not being accountable and holding your word. So it's really important. Don't break the promises to yourself. Don't break them to your spouse. Don't break them to your kids. Don't break them with, to anyone else. Um, they will resent you if you do. And, and, you know, and I've told you all before, I mean, Luke was probably, I don't know, five when he said, mom, can we have Sensi free Fridays? Because he resented my business. He wanted one day out of the week where there was no Sensi. And, and for a really small child to say that, that was pretty, um, that was pretty gut punching to me. So the next thing, work ahead. Think about what your July looks like. Think about what your August looks like. When are you going to be home? When are you going to be gone? Are you taking a vacation? Are you having company in town? Or do you have, um, what do you have going on? Pull out your calendar, your planner, pull up, print out the months of July and August, write in all your obligations. If you're a digital person, pull them all up and take a look so you aren't blindsided. Um, you know, you have two months to work with here, so you're going to juggle. If you're taking a two-week vacation, then you're going to have to front load your calendar, front load your business, and, and focus in the time that you're not on vacation, right? But it's really easy to let that time creep up on you, and then, oh my gosh, I didn't do anything in my business this month, right? Or to feel a lot of anxiety and overwhelmment because your business is going really well, and now you're starting to tread backwards because um, you didn't plan, you didn't have a plan of action and um, you took that vacation and now you feel overwhelmed coming back at all the things you're behind on. So I talked to a couple leaders today who were like, I'm behind. I took the time to do this and now I'm feeling it. When you get, when you get to that point, you do what you have to do and you let the rest go. You can't tread backwards and make up all the things you didn't do. So you focus on what the priority is, you take care of it, and then you just move forward. Most of the stuff doesn't matter, you know. Um, most of the stuff, you just, you just keep going. Um, don't schedule and forget, though. So I know we love Visly. I know we love Project Broadcast. I know that we love that we can set up all of these things and we can schedule Facebook posts, okay? But don't just schedule and forget. If you're engaging with your VIPs or if you're engaging in a party, it does take more than a post. When they ask a question or they comment, you have to reply. You can't just be absent in the party, right? Um, same with your VIP page. I've seen leaders, uh, quite a few leaders on the leadership pages say the past couple of weeks that they are seeing their engagement from Visly going way down within their parties and VIP posts and that kind of thing. I don't know if Facebook is catching on to what we're, the, you know, we're doing this and changing the algorithm accordingly or what, but I have seen more and more people say, I'm not getting the engagement I, that I was since I started using some of these services. That doesn't mean you can't use them. You're just going to have to be intentional about going in and, and replying to comments and posting here and there. Does that make sense? Um, okay, let's see. Um, also, along the same lines, if you take a substantial time off from, say, your VIP group, or if you have one, or if you stop posting on Instagram, or you stop, you know, your stories go dormant, um, it really does take a long, long time to recover from that. You guys all know that. You guys know the algorithms are crazy, right? So uh, you don't want to be in that position where all of a sudden you are not showing up in anyone's feed. 
Um, don't take the summer off from team building either. Sometimes we think, why would someone join in the summer? Well, there are a lot of groups that are looking, uh, groups of people that are looking for extra income in the summer. College students are one of them. Teachers are home. Um, there are a lot of groups that, that might be interested in some extra money. From a teacher perspective, I had a, a friend who was a teacher who joined about a month ago. She's doing great. In fact, she's she's been texting me like all evening. Um, she's doing really well. The beauty of, and, and Mary would tell you, I'm sure, the beauty of this time, if you, um, if you have a teacher join, they have this window that they can really get comfortable in their business. They can really understand the foundation before they go back to working their business, you know, working there as a teacher in the fall. So it's a perfect time for get them up and running. Plus, of course, we have the enhanced starter kit this month. Um, what that means is they're going to get the fall and winter testers and catalogs and the spring, summer while supplies last. Okay. When the spring and summer are gone, they're gone. But, you know, at that point, hopefully we will be in a position that they really just need the fall, winter. So Summer's also, you know, it, it's a period of time where you can try new things. You kind of feel a little bit of a freedom in the summer, like you can flex your schedule a little bit, things are different. The world is opening back up. We've talked a lot about that. So take some time to take your business to the next level and try something new. You know, there are a ton of events going on. If you've never done an event, I hear a lot of people saying, ah, you know, I don't think I can do an event because I don't know how it works. Well, we've got trainings. If you search our group page, we've done trainings on events. We brought Tracy DeMario in a, a few weeks ago. She's an expert on events. Um, there are tons of trainings and resources, but sometimes people would rather spend all of their time learning than doing. So don't be afraid to take a leap. You know, don't, don't book a crazy expensive event. Book something small, give it a try. You might find that you really like it. I love events. Um, I, I booked a really large event for next March that I'm super excited about. It's something I've been, uh, I didn't think I'd be able to get into and I'm really excited about, but there's a, and I think Flory would tell you, there's a really fun energy that comes from working an event. It's exhausting sometimes, but, and Amy, Amy says, yeah, I love events too. Events are fun. Um, and try it, just try it if you haven't. Book a fundraiser, um, have your customer, like the world's opening back up, have your customers over, do a wine night, do margaritas, do whatever, you know, open your house back up if you're comfortable doing that. Um, or, Karen, yeah. excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt. Rachel's asking if you'll let her in. No, I won't. <laughs> okay, I'll tell her. Tell yeah, her I'm president. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. Like, I, I kind of have this, um, if, you, if you are more than 10 minutes late, you're, you're late and I can't stop talking and doing what I'm doing to keep letting people in all the time. Poor Rachel, right. be on time, Rachel. Okay, um, or I have to make one of you guys a host. Okay, get social, get out there and talk to people. You know, talk to people at the pool, talk to people at the beach, talk to people on vacation, um, take a walk, talk to your neighbors, do all of the things, right? Um, volunteer at an animal shelter, go out to dinner with your friends again, like you can eat in restaurants now, the world is open back up. So take advantage of all those. And when I say this, I'm not saying, I think you guys know this by now, but I'm still going to reinforce it to those who are new. I am not saying, go meet these people and say, hi, I sell Sensi, would you like to buy Sensi? I'm talking about building genuine, authentic, real relationships, right? When you build genuine, real, authentic relationships, over time, Sensi will come up. Over time, they're going to ask what you do. Over time, they're going to see you on social media, all the things. You don't need to shove Sensi down someone's face, down someone's throat. You want to build those relationships. Now, if you're at an event or a fundraiser, obviously you're talking Sensi, but I don't want you meeting your brand new neighbors and the first thing you say is, hey, I'm a Sensi consultant. Would you like to buy some Sensi? No, build a relationship with them, right? Be authentic. Um, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. So give them reason to want to do business with you. Be genuine, be authentic, build a relationship with them. Summer's a really good time also to update the way you operate your business. So um, obviously in the summer, we've switched to felt samples or sampling products that aren't wax, that aren't going to melt, right? Um, sometimes new, new consultants don't think about the fact that uh, they're, if they have testers in their car, they're going to melt. I mean, that's common sense to most of us. But if you haven't been around, you don't think about it. And that's really heartbreaking to a new consultant to have their testers in the car 
and um, they don't realize, you know, how hot the car gets when they run in the grocery store and um, they're out of luck and they've ruined their testers. So, you know, think about those things, um, but take time to reorganize your sensi life, your workplace, your mobile office, all the things. Take some downtime during this window and um, prepare all those things. We're halfway through the year, okay? So it's time to evaluate what's working and what's not. You know, we sat down, um, we did a couple Zooms, the beginning, the end of December, the beginning of January, where we did a six month planning session. We in our business work in six month increments. So we are always planning ahead so that we aren't, um, we, yeah, let me phrase that. There's always some give, okay? Because, you know, LTOs come up, all those kind of things. But when we have a plan of action of what we're doing, how we're doing it, and when we're doing it, it makes it so much easier for us. So we sat down and we did this with you all the end of last year, early beginning. Um, some of you said that was super, super helpful to you. You knew what you were sampling all year. Now, maybe you didn't know a fragrance because you hadn't seen the catalog um, or whatever the case may be, but you knew the basics of what you were going to do with your business. So I would encourage you to do the same thing now. Now, if you are attending one of our retreats, if you are going to Orlando or you are going to Phoenix, we're going to put a good amount of time into fall preparation. Okay, and I don't mean at a basic level, I mean at a pretty advanced level um, to get you where you need to be for fall. Okay, um, but if you aren't going to one of our retreats, then it's a good time to start preparing yourself. Um, now's the time to put together a plan about your, how you're going to sample the next six months, your VIP mail, your customer thank yous, social media engagements, whatever the case may be, however you work your business, it's much easier if you have a plan in place. Now I wanna stop and, and comment just for a minute on burnout because we are 14, is that right? About 14, 15 months into hyper growth. Um, and it's very normal to become burnt out when you've been going fast and furious for that long. It's easy uh, to think I'll just take the summer off, I'll breathe and I'll come back and I'll pick up right where I left. And I've already told you all the reasons why that isn't gonna work for you, okay? The, as I said, the people you meet in your business in July and August will become your customers, your hosts, and your new team members in the fall. And it is catastrophic to put your business completely on pause. Um, so we have to address the kind of burnout. And I know some of you are feeling that because it has been nonstop. And, and that's a great thing. It's great that it's been amazing. And I know none of you would pass up those sales and the team building and the growth you've had and the increased income and tripling your team sizes and all those things, right? You, you wouldn't pass on that. But you can only do that for so long without kind of evaluating what's working and what's not and taking, um, taking time to feed yourself a little bit too. So um, I wanna make sure that, that we are doing that. Um, I want to make sure that you are um, thinking about yourself and personal development. Um, summer's a great time if you're taking those vacations, if you're gonna be at the pool, at the beach, at the wherever, in the, in the country camping, wherever you're gonna be. Um, feed into yourself with some personal development. Find some books that are going to nurture you. If you're not a reader, do it on Audible, whatever the case may be. Um, do some YouTube trainings, whatever, but take some time and feed yourself. That's really, really important. Um, when you're feeling burned out, it's really great to evaluate all the things that you're doing. Um, as I said, we're six months in. Now, you have to give things time. You can't just try something for a month and if it doesn't work, you quit. You gotta give it time to see a return on investment. But what is insanity? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So it is insane to keep doing something if you've done it for a year and you're not getting the result you wanted. You gotta switch things up. If you are doing things that, that aren't adding value to your business and aren't bringing you joy, stop doing them. Now, how do, you, how do you determine if it's easy to determine if they bring you joy, right? And you have to do some things in your business that probably don't bring you a lot of joy. But how do you evaluate if, um, things are why, if things are working and adding value? Well, are you getting a return on investment? Are you getting results? Is it moving your business in the right direction? Um, are you spending your time wisely or are you wasting it on social media? And when I say wasting it on social media, I don't mean you shouldn't work your business on social media. I mean, a lot of times people tell me, I work three hours today and really they spent their whole time in the newsfeed scrolling, right? Or jumping from page to page to group to group to group. Um, don't do that. Yeah, Rachel, you should be sorry. I just saw your, uh, your comment. Um, so 
evaluate how you're spending your time. Um, are you frustrated that you aren't getting the results out of your business? Um, if you're spending your time on fluff and not the meats and potatoes, not the revenue generating activities, you can't get upset about the results you don't get from the work you didn't do. If you're spending all your time on things that aren't going to add value to your business, that are fun or cute or, oh, I made this beautiful package, great. But if you, or I spent four hours making the samples, that's great. But if you didn't have anyone to give them to, that was a waste of your time and your resources and your money. Um, don't confuse busy with productive. And you guys hear me say that all the time. Uh, if you're doing things that aren't bringing you joy and results, stop doing them. Just stop. Uh, why are you doing them? Ask yourself that. If you're a leader, I would also ask you, have you lost yourself with your team? When I see leaders going into burnout, one of my first questions is, um, who are you? Um, and have you lost yourself into your team? Have you stopped feeding you because you are pouring 100% into your team? Okay. Have you stopped pouring into yourself, your family, your personal business because you're focusing on that team? You can't do that. You, you have to, you know, I'm not saying you shouldn't focus on your team at all, but 80% on your personal business, 20% on your team. And we used to say until you were superstar director, but I know the, the vast majority of superstar directors even hold true to that. 80% on your personal business, 20% on your team, okay? If you're a leader or if you're a, even a brand new consultant, I'm gonna ask you, who are you? Um, what do you want from your business? How do you see your business? Before you get to the busy fall selling season, I want you to think about, um, are you, um, is it time to reinvent and rebrand yourself? I guess that's the best way to say it. You know, um, people don't just buy Sensi, they choose who they buy from. Um, why should they buy from you? Why should they trust you? Why should they trust your business? Do you make it clear and obvious that you love your business? Do you use our products? You know, I, I see some people will say, I can't sell anything. And I'll go and I'll look at their PRV and I'll be like, you aren't even using it yourself. You can't expect people to buy what you aren't even personally using. Like you can't test, testify on the product, the value of the product if you aren't using it yourself. So um, ask yourself that. Did, are you happy? Do you enjoy your life? And I'm not talking like a rainbows and unicorns sort of way. Um, we all have down times and whatever, but are you a negative person? Is that what people see of you on social media? We all have a choice. Why would someone want to be your customer is what I want to know. Why would they choose to do business with you? And before we head into the fall selling season, this is a perfect time to ask yourself this. So take a stop, look back on the four, last 14 months. Um, if you've been with us that long, you know it has been fast and furious. How strong, if you join during that window, or if you've promoted quickly during that window, um, how strong is the foundation you built for your business? You know, there are certain things that as a, as a consultant, we have a responsibility to know. We need to know the rules for our business, the Sensi standards. We need to know the comp plan. We need to have a, a good solid foundation of our products. And some people have joined and promoted. In fact, we had someone last summer join and promote to director in less than 30 days, I think 20, 23 days. Um, you can't get a, a good solid foundation in your business if you promote that quickly. So now is the time that you can kind of step back and look at, look at your foundation. Are you walking on quicksand? Because quite honestly, if you are, you're going to sink. So lay the foundation, go back, make sure you understand the rules. You do need to read them. I know the Sensi standards are a little boring, but break it up into chunks. There's a really nice guide that kind of helps with it now. Um, do you know the comp plan? If not, you know, there are lots of trainings on it. You don't have to understand the comp plan all the way from essential to superstar director, but you need to understand it from where you are and for the, the next rank or two above, okay? Um, if you don't understand the workstation, how to use it, where to find it, it's time to do some trainings on that. If you don't understand the, the basics of your business, that's why you have a sponsor. That's why you have a director. That's why you have a star director, a superstar director. You know, we offer you all these opportunities to invest in yourself and invest in your business, but we can't drag you and make you do it. You've got to take some personal ownership over it. So this is kind of a time to look at those cracks in your business and um, step back and build a, a solid foundation if you don't have it. And, and there's no fault in that. I mean, some of you grew so quickly last year that there was no time to establish that foundation, but now's the time to go back 
and fill in those cracks and figure out the things that that you don't really understand things that you don't know because we're going into fall and it's going to be fast and furious again right we haven't really slowed down things are still crazy um and you know my guess um 2019 i think we did i'm guessing on these numbers they're not going to be exact as a company we did like 400 and i don't know 59 million maybe that's kind of a guess last year we did i don't, I don't remember between 700 and say 890 million somewhere in there my forecast my personal forecast is i think we will do between 1.2 and 1.9 million this year as a company the growth is still massive you guys but make sure you've got the footing to continue to build on because you don't want it to crumble under you and that's what will happen if you don't take care of yourself if you don't avoid burnout if you don't have a solid foundation under you and if you halt your business this summer you can't do those things you need to go into fall with a different mindset a solid foundation and a good plan and now's the time to get that all in place last two things i would encourage you to do if you have not registered for sfr sfr for those of you that are new is our sensi family reunion it is virtual again this year hopefully next year it is not virtual um, you will never get a better deal than it is this year it is eleven dollars next year when we're in person you're going to be like why isn't it eleven dollars <laughs> i'm going to be like because it's hundreds of dollars more um you can register still through the 16th of july you register on the events tab of your workstation and if you can't watch it it's later this month it's um leadership is the 19th i think um it's the 22nd and 23rd basically are the general session um and you can access the breakouts a little bit before that if you can't watch it live that's okay you'll have access for 30 days to it okay but you register on the event tab of your workstation it is something really great to do you will also get first sneak peeks at usually the harvest the holiday collection and all the new things to come not in the fall catalog we've seen that but throughout the the fall all, you know any of that kind of thing um the only other thing that i really want to encourage you i and i I've seen a lot of this on social media already, so I just want to remind you, uh, it is early July. That new catalog does not launch until August 1st. Now, now is the time to make sure you are ready for fall. Now is the time to get those business supplies ordered. Now is the time to get that branding going for fall, all those things that you do. But now is not the time to be taking orders for August 1st or August 15th. If you are selling the fall catalog now, then your customers are not taking advantage of the 10% off sale, the discontinued list, or any of the things that we have this month. Take advantage of the LTO collection that launched today. You know, that, that scent collection is really great. And um, if you haven't reached out to your realtor friends, I mean, they definitely want to put that in their Sensi Club subscription, right? The new, how, the new home bar, the new house bar, that's perfect for them. Um, you know, who has a graduation coming up next year? Who has to think about those happy birthday bars are super fun for any of your customers who regularly gift Sensi. That's that's a, a given, right? So take advantage of that stuff. Take advantage of Harry Potter tomorrow, right? The pre-orders tomorrow for Harry Potter starts. You got seven days on that. Um, take advantage of what you can take advantage of now and let August happen when it happens. Now, if you are using the new catalog as an incentive to book, parties in august that's something different if you are sharing selectively that air purifier because you have hosts that want to get it with their three half price items in august then use that privately one-on-one -on -one to book those parties but if you are spending your time promoting that stuff now and not taking advantage of the 10 percent off sale the discontinued list and what's in front of you now you're making a pretty big mistake in your business so that's all i got do we have questions I have a question. 